welcome to my website, Caroline Clark, Posture Alignment Specialist. So today we're still on page 37. I actually gave you an extra exercise on the last video. So this time we're going for um, putting a block it's called block those knees and it's there's three positions to do this in so we're getting a block high density foam block I always use you could use a pillow or a cushion just make sure that it's about four inches wide you're going to put the block between your knees and we're going to be lying on our back make sure your feet are hips width apart and that you can squeeze and then release all right it's not a snatch it's squeeze and release so lying on our back arms out and palms up so you're just feeling quite relaxed with your upper body your upper body isn't going to get involved and um, there there should be a very slight arch under the lower back don't panic if there isn't so we're going to start with make sure you can feel all ten toes the balls of your feet and your heels bring the weight very slightly to the inside of your feet that is going to start encouraging your adductors the inner thigh muscles the inner groin muscles your inner hip muscles to start engaging so we are going for 10 so you're just going to squeeze one two remember don't snatch three make sure they're equal you can always look up four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the first part of the exercise. Let me just turn over to the page. So we've now gone to page 38 and we are going to be, hang on a minute, are we going to be onto first? Which are we doing first? And we are going to be with our toes um, down. Right. So onto the balls of your feet. If I was to read it first, I would have known that. So now I've just lifted my heels slightly off the ground. And again, squeeze one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heels down and toes up. Really flex those two toes to you. And again, we're going to squeeze one, two make sure they're working equally three don't snatch four five six seven eight nine ten as you're doing this you'll feel there's more of an arch has occurred in the back that's your primary hip flexor getting involved as well so we're getting the whole of that lower body involved so that is part of the exercise the next part of the exercise is going to be with the luggage strap so luggage strap is going round the thighs just above the knees again fist only between the knees lying on our back with our feet hips width apart just tighten that very slightly so relaxing the upper body making sure that your shoulders your shoulder blades feel equal on the ground and that your bum's feeling equal on the ground and now I've got a little slight arch in my back so that first exercise encouraged my arch so this time bring the weight very slightly to the outside of the feet and again no snatching you're pulling releasing so I always say about 10% body weight into it and that is your neutral position then you're going to pull out slightly more and then you're just going to come back to that 10% so we're going for 10 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten onto the balls of the feet so heels off the ground you may cramp at this point if you feel you're cramping go for the heels um, down to start with and again one two so I'm feeling this right into my lower back three four not a bad it's just feeling engaged five six and my back is arching seven eight nine ten heels down toes up and pull one two three four five six seven eight nine 
10. Both feet on the ground. I always give myself a pelvic tilt just to see what my back's doing. That's like a little function test to let me know what's going on and my back feels great. So that is um, two exercises on page 38. I'm going for another exercise in a minute on page 38, but I think that's enough for this video. So I will speak to you very soon. My website should be above my head right now and you can always contact me, email me or send me a message on, on the YouTube channel. So look forward to seeing you. Bye.